Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we will be solving one very interesting question from algebra. Compute the minimum possible value of x minus 1 whole square plus x minus 2 whole square up to x minus 5 whole square given that x is real number. So let's get started. I will solve this question in two ways. So let us write here method number 1. Here I am going to write the given expression equal to function fx. We will write x minus 1 whole square plus x minus 2 whole square plus x minus 3 whole square plus x minus 4 whole square plus x minus 5 whole square. Now we will find f prime x or f dash x derivative of fx. This will be equal to we know that d over dx of x minus a raised to the power n. This is equal to n times x minus a raised to the power n minus 1. So here we will write 2 times x minus 1 power would be 2 minus 1, so 1, plus 2 times x minus 2 with power 2 minus 1 which is 1, plus 2 times x minus 3, plus 2 times x minus 4, plus 2 times x minus 5. Now we will take 2 common out. So in the bracket we can write x minus 1 plus x minus 2 plus x minus 3 plus x minus 4 plus x minus 5 which will give us 2 times how many x's are there? 5. So we will write here 5x minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5. So we will write here minus 15. Now we will find critical points by putting f prime x equal to 0. So from here I will write 2 times 5x minus 15 equal to 0. So x will come out 3. Now 3 is our critical point. Now we will check whether we are getting minima or maxima at x equal to 3. So we will find second derivative. So I will write here f prime x equal to 2 times 5x minus 15. Let us find out f double prime x second derivative will be equal to 2 times derivative of 5x would be 5 derivative of 15 is 0. So we are going to get 2 times 5 which is equal to 10. So I can write here f double prime x this is equal to 10 which is positive number. So at x equal to 3 we will get minima. or minimum value at x equal to 3. So we have to only calculate f of 3. So I will write here fx equal to then we are going to calculate f of 3 that is our answer. So I will write here f minimum this would be equal to f of 3. So we will write 3 minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 2 whole square plus 3 minus 3 whole square plus 3 minus 4 whole square plus 3 minus 5 whole square. So 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 is square plus 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 is square. This is 0. Here we will write minus 1 is square. And here we will be writing minus 2 whole square. 
value will be equal to 4 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4. So I can write my answer f minimum would be 10. This is our method number 1. Now we will solve this problem using method number 2. So I will expand x minus 1 whole square will be equal to x square minus 2x plus 1. Then we will expand x minus 2 whole square. We will write x square minus 4x plus 4. Then we will expand x minus 3 whole square. Expansion would be x square minus 6x plus 9. Then we will write x minus 4 whole square equal to x square minus 8x plus 16 and then we have to expand x minus 5 whole square which will be equal to x square minus 10x plus 25. Now we will add. So I will write f once we will add LHS terms we will write f of x or f this would be equal to x square x square x square x square x square 5 x square then we will get 2 4 6 6 12 8 20 10 30 minus 30 x then we will add 1 with 4 with 9 with 16 with 25 value will be 55 now i can write here f equal to 5x square minus 30x and now we can split 55 as 45 plus 10. Now from first three terms we will take 5 common out. So in the bracket we will write x square minus 6x plus 9. Then we have plus 10. This is our f. Now this is one perfect square of x minus 3. So we will write 5 times x minus 3 whole square plus 10. This is our function f. Now we know that for real x is square would be non-negative and the minimum value of x minus 3 whole square would be 0. So I will write here f of minimum this would be equal to 5 times 0 plus 10. So f minimum would be 0 plus 10. So we can write f minimum value will be 10. Using this expansion method, we can find easily what is the minimum value of the function given in the problem. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.